And welcome back, Manic here. Uh, we're here at Dragon's Reach. Well done. Here. Oh. Is another gum. Let's go find. No, 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 no. No, I don't. He's been looking into a matter related. To oh man, I've got to go talk to him first. Let me out. I'll introduce you to Barengar. Ugh. Anyway, we're back here at Dragon's Reach. We gotta let let him talk to uh the wizard real quick. I think I found someone who can help you with your come to Dragon's Reach. Uh we gotta activate this quest real quick. I really need straight to the I uh go to the Awesome. Got it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try to convince him to capture a dragon in the palace. My pers my, pr my speech is not high enough for me to persuade him, so I'm just gonna have to go through like the actual dialogue. It, you know, you're supposed to use. He's all like, no, because there's a civil war, and if we're using our units to defend against the dragon, then then um then this the civil war people will come and take over my city because I haven't picked a side yet because I'm like that so we're gonna set up a peace conference to negotiate a truce um, until we can get a, a dragon captured so check real quick make sure I got what I need Whoa. yeah we do okay so we're going way back up the mountain Without a horse this time, don't worry. Um, the door's still locked, but there is yet another way in that we're going to use. And this one's a lot of fun, I think, as well. Um, is it up here? No, it's right, it's right here. i got to remember which block it is. I think it's that one. And that's right, you probably already have an idea of what we're doing. And in case you're wondering, and you're all like, well, why didn't we do this the first time? I needed the horse to get up to Parthenox, is the reason. Um. That we, uh. Eh. Come on. It's usually not that hard to get through here. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. But yeah, we needed the horse to climb up to the throat of the world to talk to Mr. Head Dragon Dude. Otherwise, we could have just done this. Yeah, let me out. So, yeah. But we're, um, we're done with the uh, horse wall climbing. There's going to be one more wall climb part that we have to do. Just warning. But, yeah. Mm, we need your help. Let's move that up. You misunderstand, Dorothy. I see. I know. Even the so we're going to have it here because this is neutral territory. And I just talked him into allowing that to happen. Um, and plus, you know, everyone in the freaking Empire, you know, respects and kind of fears the Greybeards. Because they're like, well, you know, like the only people besides you now that knows, you know how to use the dragon shouts. Even though in caves and dungeons the draugers use it, and I don't know if that's just these it's not common knowledge because you have to go way down deep to to find them, or if it's just something everyone chooses to ignore. Need a ride? So we're going to, Where do you want to go? hire a carriage. Go back to solitude because if you don't go in the city or get close enough to the city then it won't acknowledge that you've been there. So we can't fast travel, but this is just as good. Oh god, I just knocked the mic. My bad. Oh, do 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 do. Okay. Let me check my gold real quick. Oh yeah, we're doing great. So what I oops, I probably didn't need to do that. What we're gonna do here is one of my favorite little tricks. That you you can use this even if you don't, um, if you're not doing a speed run, um, but like if let's say you need to get to the Yarl, 
for whatever reason. That's all you got to do. You, have committed crimes against Skyrim and people you caught me. I'll just pay you 40 gold. And yeah, we're getting a lot of load screens this episode. Between all the fast traveling and the punching of guards. But, check this out. Shabam. Took me right where I needed to go. Yeah, it costs... That, that's why at the very beginning I was like, you need gold. Gold and Dragon Bane, really the only things you need. Well, okay, and the buckets, and the platter, and the bowls. Uh, I haven't met him yet, so we have to go through this introduction dialogue, because he's a quest character for one of the... It, I, you can't call it a guild, but, like... Um... One of the extra things they have in Skyrim that, like, Oblivion didn't have, um, was the Civil War you can pick what side you want to fight on and go through quests that way. God, it's dark in here. Whoops. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. Do do do. That's not what my scout. I used to be in a white true like you. Where is he? And I took an arrow in the knee. Oh. That's what you get, bitch. <laughs> oh, I love that like some of my little extra mods are just coming, showing through in this playthrough. But yeah, I've got that mod that... Whoa, too far. Every time someone says that they uh, took an arrow to a knee, they uh, they get struck down by God. That's just something that happens. What can I say? <laughs> that's so funny. I can't believe that happened. Uh, that's actually the first time it's done it since um, I installed the mod. Because I'm not really around guards and in cities that often when I'm actually like playing, playing as me. Windhelm is the next place we want to go. I'm really just kind of like... I mean, I guess when I do the guild quests, I'm more in the cities, but most of the time I'm just running around seeing if I can find dungeons and caves and stuff I haven't been to before. Because there, there's really like a lot <laughs> in Skyrim. Like, as much as I've played the game... I've beat all the gil all the guilds, all the uh, quests, or not quests, the guilds, the Civil War, the main quest, and um, the DLCs. Yo, bitch, I put my shit away. Stop attacking me. Whoa. This is not supposed to happen. Punch. And I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Whoa. St stupid freaking bugging out. You're supposed to... Damn it. The one time it doesn't freaking autosave. Um. <sighs> I wonder where it's going to start me back at. Freaking solitude. But yeah, the guilds, the main quest, the DLCs, and a good bit of the side quests I've kind of done. Oh, the Daedric quest, I did all those. But I still haven't, like, explored freaking everything. You know, there's still, like,. And I, I say I've done a good bit, bit of the side quests. I feel like I've done a lot of side quests, but I really don't think I've done like uh, that many. Where were we at on time? All right, just enough time to set up the peace conference, and this actually works out really well, because um, like I, I've tried to stress really well that um, that there's not going to be a lot of plot involved. Like, I'll explain, like, the main points as we go. But the Peace Council takes... No, shit. No. Okay, he didn't take my money. Um, the Peace Council really does take, like, a lot of time. It's like a ten minute just dialogue thing where you have to select who gets what. So, like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that out. I'm gonna do that between this episode and the next one. Um, quick save. I know this works because I've done it. Oh, 
There we go. Um, I mean, you're really not going to be missing much. And this isn't, you know, just this isn't a playthrough of like the main quest. It's just like a speed run of the main quest. See, so, and I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. If you were here to get all the details and all the lore and all the plot, you've done missed the vast majority. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm going to leave that out, but the time will obviously be logged by the game. So when we look and see how long it took, uh, the, the numbers will still come out right. It's about time they turned out. I have the great... But I can't afford to appear weak. Good. I okay. The Empire. Yes. And what would you have to do? Okay, everybody. Um, that's going to be it against... Uh, against... I was listening to that guy talk and it influenced what I was saying. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm just going to fast travel up here, use the bucket trick to get back inside, and then do the peace council. I will see you all at the, uh, at the start of the next video, where we continue on with capturing a dragon. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I've, I've been forgetting to say that because, like, I always say that at the end of my videos, and where I've been sitting here doing this as, like, just one giant run-through. I, my mind's like, oh, we're not done with the video yet. But in reality, we've done quite a few videos. But um, thank you all for watching, and this thank you is for every one of the videos of this Skyrim series that I've not said that for. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, but yeah. I'll be back. Manic, out.